silent, menacing, and deadly. The great horned owl is an apex predator unlike any other in New York City. But are they dangerous? Can we live alongside them? And do we even want them here? I've made it my mission to find out. This is Wild New York. My name is Ben, and I'm an amateur naturalist and animal lover. Developing a real talent for this. White-tailed deer. Join me and my friend Katie as we journey around New York to learn a little bit more about the wildlife that shares our home. Humans and top predators usually don't get along. In fact, the story of human civilization can really be told through our ability to outcompete other top predators. But birds of prey have co-evolved right alongside us, and few more successfully than the great horned owl. The second heaviest owl in North America, great horned owls are powerful hunters. They average between 17 and 25 inches tall, and they typically weigh between two and a half and three and a half pounds. But birds as heavy as five and a half pounds have been recorded. Their talons are even more impressive. Typically hidden while they're perching, their feet can measure nearly eight inches from talon to talon. These powerful claws can exert pressure of up to 300 pounds per square inch. For comparison, a strong human hand can create about 75 pounds of pressure. Great horned owls are the definition of an apex predator. Not only do they lack other natural predators, they feed on every vertebrate in their ecosystem. From mice, rats, and voles, all the way up to young raccoons and opossums, no mammal smaller than a deer is safe from their talons. But birds aren't either. Great horned owls have been known to snatch fledgling birds of prey, from small screech owls to red-tailed hawks. Passerines and songbirds aren't safe either. Great horned owls can reach speeds of up to 40 miles an hour in flight. So, great horned owls have attitude. It's a great start towards becoming a true New Yorker. But unlike most people who come here, it's their silence that helps them stand out. All owls share a special wing shape. The leading edge of their feathers are serrated, and their trailing edge dampens sound, making them silent in flight. But unlike some other owl species, great horned owls are, well, night owls. When observed during the daytime, they often appear sleepy or sluggish, and indeed, that's when they're resting up for a sleepless night of hunting. Other predatory birds, like hawks or crows, take advantage of this. If they catch a great horned owl napping, they will engage in mobbing behavior with dives, calls, and other harassments. This can drive the owls away, or at least make them less competitive at hunting. This behavior can also help us find these owls. Great horned owls sport incredible camouflage, but you can't hide the sound of a dozen angry crows. Now that we know a little bit more about them, let's go see if we can find one in the wild. All right, we're here in Central Park's North Woods. It's tall trees and dense forests make it the ideal habitat for a great horned owl. And as you can probably hear from these mobbing crows behind me, that's exactly what we found. Let's take a closer look. As we mentioned, great horned owls spend prime daylight observing hours resting. So it's important to give them space and not create a ruckus. Most importantly, their predation of nuisance species like rats, mice, and voles make them vulnerable to our methods of pest management. Poisons we use to try and control rat populations quickly make their way up the food chain, poisoning predators and wreaking havoc on our food webs. Our cities are powerful images of our ability to control and alter nature. But no matter how hard we try, we'll never be able to divorce urban life fully from the natural world. And that's a good thing. Nature is full of beauty and lessons. The most important one being balance in everything we do. And if you want to help bring balance to our wild spaces, just follow these three easy steps. Never feed wildlife. Always maintain a safe and respectful distance from whatever you're observing. And make sure to properly dispose of your trash. If you can handle that, you'll be surprised by what our predatory birds can handle. And together, we'll make sure the concrete jungle stays wild and beautiful.